In today's video, I will be discussing the top seven IELTS listening time management tips I will give you to help you get through the IELTS listening section of the IELTS exam. If this is something you're interested in, then continue watching because I know that many students have a difficult time getting through four uh, listening recordings. And so it's very important that you know how to manage your time and what can help you. Just in case you're wondering who I am, uh, I am a certified English language teacher in Canada, and I've been coaching the students in the IELTS exam for the past six years. I decided to start this YouTube channel to help you on your IELTS journey and share all the strategies that I give my other students. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel as I put out content every Friday with lots of tips and tricks to help you in the IELTS exam. Also, please check out my website at eslwords.com where I've written lots of articles uh, on the IELTS exam and the different sections. So the first time management tip I have for you is that you need to familiarize yourself with how long you will be given in this section because this will help you manage your time. So you will be given about 30 minutes to answer 40 questions and uh, 10 questions uh, will be given for each recording. So that means you will hear a total of four different recordings. So you need to ensure that you are able to keep up with all the questions and that you are able to answer the questions to the best of your abilities. So the second time management tip I have for you is pretty much uh, you will be given 30 minutes to complete. Um, uh, so another time management tip I have for you is in case you didn't know that you will be given 30 minutes to complete all the questions and then you will be actually given 10 extra minutes to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. So what I recommend you do is that you do not transfer your answers during that 30 minutes. Rather allocate that 30 minutes to specifically answering the question, specifically trying to look for keywords. And then when you are given the 10 minutes at the end, then you use that time wisely to transfer your answers. So just make sure that you use your time wisely. So think about it. If you have 40 questions in 30 minutes, that's not even one minute per question. So uh, it's very important that you take that 30 minutes into consideration when going through all the 40 questions. So the third um the third tip I have for you is that you need to look for potential keywords. So when you are given your questions first, the examiner will give you 20 to 30 seconds, guys. It's not a lot of time, but take advantage of that time. Quickly look for keywords that, that uh, stand out that you may be able to listen to uh, within the audio recording before he starts playing it. So you need to pay attention to certain keywords, maybe underline them, highlight them, uh, just so you know to be cognizant to listen to those particular words in the audio recording. So number four is you need to stay focused and don't get distracted. I know this sounds a bit easy, but what I mean by this is listening to four audio recordings back to back and answering questions. You could get a bit puzzled or you could get a bit confused because so much is happening at once. You're not only looking at the questions and trying to comprehend them, but you're also trying to listen for the answer and then write the answer. That's multitasking, guys, and that's not easy. That's something you need to practice, and we will talk about that next. So the fifth tip I have for you is to double check your answers for spelling. 
So when you are transferring your answers to the answer sheets, you want to make sure you don't make any spelling errors. The last thing you want is the examiner to mark you wrong for a petty little spelling mistake that you didn't double check and it was right on your question sheet, but when you transferred to your answer sheet, you marked it wrong. So you need to double check within those 10 minutes and make sure that you didn't make any accidental errors. So the sixth time management tip I have for you is to be comfortable with multitasking. So as I mentioned, guys, you will be doing three to four things at the same time. And this could be a bit overwhelming because you're not only listening for the answer, you're reading the question for keywords, uh, you know, you're listening for the answer and you're writing the answer all at the same time. So that's why I say, look for potential keywords that, that stick out, that stand out in the question to help you uh, when you are listening for the answer. So the seventh tip I have for you today is to guess the answer, even if you don't know. So uh, what I mean by this is if time's up, just quickly answer one question because that's a chance of you getting it right. Then you leaving it blank, you're not going to get any opportunity to get a mark. So guys, this was the seven IELTS listening time management tips I had for you today. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel because as I mentioned, I will be putting out content every Friday to help you in your IELTS exam. And also please check out my website at eslwords.com because I have written lots of articles in more detail, giving you examples for each section sample answers with sample questions and i think this will really help you i am really hoping that you guys could all get the uh, desired band score you are hoping for in your ielts exam and that's why i decided to open this channel to help you with your ielts exam